Dustin Johnson on the first tee. The last time these two guys played together in the final route, Grace and DJ. DJ had the co-lead at Pumpkin Ridge in Portland. Grace was two back playing in the final group. Grace shot 65, DJ 71. But Dustin also has the shortest memory in the history of professional golf. So all 48 players out on the golf course here in Tulsa, Oklahoma on Championship Sunday. Here's DJ, the leader. Stiffed it on this hole the first two days. Oh, this is not going to be close. DJ. Probably has a little nine wood. That more, DJ. DJ. Now, the team battle is always front and centre on Championship Sunday. Coming off the course yesterday, the players at the top of the individual leaderboard works, spoke works. about it. Yeah, and this is a pitching wedge. Well, it's been a great start to Championship Sunday for the four aces who lead Stinger by three. And Dustin Johnson still too clear. Shortest putts, they have to play so much break. This is a good example. Oh, yes. <laughs> Dustin Johnson. A three shot lead for the time being, at least he's 15 under par. Seems to do it so often. Our shot tracer is brought to you by Easy Post. And it's paid off. And this doesn't look too right. Covering the flag stick. Dustin Johnson, 15 under par. He leads Brandon Grace by three. The aces, three ahead of Stinger. Dom, to Jerry's point a few minutes ago about these top name players finding their form, I mean, Dustin, who you're following today, tweaked his back, didn't he, early in the yep. season before the, the event in Saudi Arabia. And it's been sort of a gradual working his way back to form since then, right? Yeah, we've already had one clatter into a sprinkler head today. Yeah. That was very close to being a second. Good try. Turn. Ready. Keep drawing. Turn. Didn't get quite the contact that he wanted. Just got to be wary not to hit it too hard. It could go long and it slopes away. Oh, yeah, well played. This one right there should have hopped left. Solid from Dustin Johnson. 16 under par, two clear of Brandon Grace, and the four aces, two clear of Stinger. Make that three. Very little breeze out there today. Almost flat calm. That's a good answer to Brandon Grace. appears unstoppable here on Championship Sunday. He leads Grace by three, and the four aces lead Stinger by five shots now. Oh, 
old hound dog. Well, this has got the distance. The line's not terrible either. Yeah, good shot. Now here's Dustin Johnson closing in on a second Live Golf title. He leads Brandon Grace by three. His four aces, three clear of Stinger. Because it, you just have to set it in motion. Look at that stroke, practice stroke. Yeah. Mm. A rare mistake in Tulsa so far for Dustin Johnson. He leads Brandon Grace by three. This hole sets up beautifully for DJ. Just left half of the fairway and let it slide back. Just about like that, although it, uh, it, it should catch the fairway. No, it's, but it's playable, it's fine. Yep, that's all right. on that. Great, 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 great. Oh. Oh. Tantalizingly short. Oh, no. oh, Thing wrong with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Just didn't take any divot. No, no. Didn't sound it. Mm. And he's not going to get this up and down. Got a flyer oh, there. Oh, that was clumsy. Oh, yeah. That's strong oh, stuff yeah. there. Yeah, that was for par. Oh. Unflappable. That. Yeah, Dustin changed that, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he certainly did. Well, he's pulled this one. Well, the suspension doesn't appear to have helped Dustin Johnson, where it might have allowed Brandon Grace to gather his thoughts. The four aces also only one clear. Oh, that sounded thick, to say the least. But the four aces dominance on the team pylon and Dustin Johnson's dominance individually are under threat here. That's what he was looking for with the first one. A chance to get away with a six. We have a horse race. A seven for Dustin Johnson and Stinger lead the team competition. Didn't see that coming, Jerry. Nope. Nope. What? Extremely. Yeah, it's pretty short. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a response from Dustin Johnson. DJ and I. Absolutely fantastic. What a way to come back after a giant skid mark. Smash of four off the podium. Here's Dustin. It's just fine, all he needed. Still a nice crowd out here. I think it's past the pin. He's going to use that backstop. Oh, has it got a spin? Oh, here it comes. Oh, great answer. Shot for shot. Dustin Johnson and Brandon Grace. Cam Smith is within one shot now.
pulled it. Didn't start it on the line that AJ pointed out. Always a little low. Stinger 38 under par, the four aces led by Dustin Johnson, 36 under par. It's a birdie opportunity where he's driven it, Dustin Johnson. Did he pull it? Just a touch, but he got the spin. Dustin Johnson has got his head back together. He is tied with Brandon Grace on 15 under par. Too far wide. I think he hit his line though, Dom. He was holding the finish like he hit it where he wanted. Just a bit of a misread, which they haven't been doing often. Dustin Johnson was cruising. Well, it's Dustin off the 14th tee. He's off after the peg. That's perfect. Aggressive tee shot, too. Oh, that's a good line, but it's the same line as Brandon's. Said he necked it. Beautiful. Yeah. Just what you'd expect from two world-class players. Seven iron for DJ. Same club he hit on 11 close. It's not cutting enough. It's okay. Okay. Took a good run at it. A little left there. And they're seeing the picture that you're seeing. Dustin Johnson rolls it in. DJ's tee shot at 16. He didn't leave anything in the bag right there, did DJ? He's got the distance, he needs to come down. He needs to spin. Oh, it's not on the green. enough. That was nothing easy about that. It's headed to that bunker, maybe even miss it right. Well, it's all right. Yeah. Live golf events in Chicago. Oh, this is good. That was a couple of weeks after winning the Open Championship, and Cam Smith is in pole position. Started that well left. They had clipped trees. Just cleared the bunker. Yeah, it's all right. It's a good angle, but not nearly as far up as he would have wanted. No, always left. Always left. to the right. Oh, but it comes back with a little kick. It's not bad at all. Good grief. DJ. And there's three of them. Absolutely magnificent. Dustin Johnson joins Smith and Grace on 17 under par. He will not go down lightly, Dustin Johnson. And he's still in with a chance here. Does the way that all three of these players ended their round have any factor at all in the outcome of the playoff? 
Yeah, I'm, I think so. I mean, Dustin has got to feel pretty good. He, he had an absolutely beautiful putt. It was confident. It was online. You know, just exactly the putt he wanted to hit. And, uh, you know, but having said that, you know, you got three world-class players playing uh, a relatively easy par four. I'd be very surprised if, uh, you know, maybe two of them don't birdie this hole. Right. Conventional wisdom always says the guy who shot the low round the last day, it's got the favorite hand in the playoff, but you could also shrink that down into a microcosm of who finished strong, and both those two made birdie right there. Nelson Johnson. Smoked. Same line as Kaz. Had two. Two great tee shots there. Put at the first playoff hole. I've seen that one before. If you want to encapsulate today's play with a couple of shots, that's it. You can barely separate Dustin Johnson and Brandon Grace. Likewise, Stinger in the four races, Dustin Johnson, to eliminate Brandon Grace and to heap the pressure on Cameron Smith. And he makes it! Justin Johnson, ice call on 18. Advantage DJ in the playoff. Brandon Grace will finish in third spot, and it's all down to Cameron Smith. One more look. Right up the starting point, right in the center. Extend the playoff. One more hole. One no, more it's not going to work that way. Well, Cameron Smith could not repeat his heroics on 18, and Dustin Johnson, who did it the hard way today, is a live golf champion for the second time. Both his victories have been via a playoff. Both at the first hole. He wobbled today in Tulsa with a triple bogey at the 10th. But he held his nerve on the pl first playoff hole. And we can send it down to Don Boulay with our champion. DJ, we want to make it. We want to make it. <laughs> DJ, well then, you won. You won the U.S. Open on Father's Day. You just won your second live event on Mother's Day, the week before a major championship. This has got to be really special. Yeah, I mean it was nice. Obviously, you know, after I made seven on ten, which uh, I mean, just a little bit unlucky, and then you know, obviously went to, ran down the path, went in the water. Dropped it, it was in mud. I mean, cut, missed a four footer for double. Like, I mean, everything I could do wrong, I did wrong on the hole, but to fight back and, you know, make a birdie, you know, birdie 18 two times in a row, um, you know, when I had to. Um, obviously, really, really happy with that. And obviously, I'm, I mean, I'm really playing well, so I was, it's really good. Got a lot of momentum going into next week. Let me ask you, that putt in the playoff, were you trying to get the identical line as the one you had in regulation? <laughs> oh. No. I mean, it was. I knew I was on a really similar line. I was actually a, a touch further right, so I knew it'd break just a touch more. But, um, but yeah, I hit, hit a really nice spot. I mean, that second shot you had on 18 in regulation. Did you have any of the tree to deal with? Because that that was massive. Yeah, I mean, I had to go over the right side of it, but um, it was. I mean, I was hitting a sandwich, so I I thought I could clear it with no problem. This is pretty big for next week, isn't it? Like you said, you've got momentum and you're playing great and you're putting beautifully too. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, it was a really good week, obviously. Solid all the way around other than, you know, the back nine. Even I missed a short one on 10 for six and then came back birdie the next hole and then I missed two short ones in a row on 12 and 13 for birdie and 17. So, but I'm rolling it nice. I'm hitting it well. I'm looking forward to next week. Congratulations. Don't celebrate too hard. It's a big week next week. No, no celebrating. I got to get, <laughs> get right back to work. All right, buddy. Good luck. Yeah.